No! I was right there. What do you want from me? Tell me what you want from me. Pull it together, Stan. The sooner you find Leonor, the sooner you can get her off this fucking island. Just find her. Know what's going on with Stanley? I'm afraid he's gone mad. Tonight I was waiting for him at Rory's pub. Rory was complaining about his fucking hand again. When Stanley finally showed up, he looked white as a ghost. He grabbed my elbow and said we had to go. I'd been there a while, so I was in no mood to be handled. I told him to sit down while I finished my pint. But he snatched it from my hand and smashed it on the floor. A Rory started shouting bloody murder, and that's when Stanley went for him. He threw himself at Rory, clutching for his throat. Rory was so shocked he slipped and fell to the floor. It took all my strength to pull Stanley off and drag him toward the front door. Rory stayed behind the bar, cursing all the Whitakers. Leonor, please call. Let me hear your voice. Ah, oh, of course. Missing the fucking handle. funerals today. I was with Stanley at his father's funeral. There was quite a crowd of people. I told Stanley his father would be proud of the turnout, but he said Paddy would just want to make a speech. The police were watching the crowd, but they didn't bother anyone. They were hidden, but I spotted them straight away. I had to help Stanley write the eulogy for Paddy, but when it came time to read it, he couldn't speak. He gripped the sides of the lectern so hard I feared it would splinter in his hands. Finally, Stanley said Paddy was the speechmaker, but he wasn't enough like his father to do him justice. He just folded up the speech and left in silence. Finally, an open door. Oh, great. 
More freezing water. See if it still works. I've got to get out of this place. I don't like the looks of this. Hello? Who's there? Can you help? Please stay your name. We've been in a plane crash. My wife. Please stay your name. Stan Stanley. S Stanley Florence. But you. Child not found. Listen to me. I'm trying to find. Please. Stanley Whitaker. My name is Found. For the son of Patty Whitaker to do something like this. They say the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, but it's like you came from a different tree altogether. What are you talking about? What am I doing here? You know exactly why you're here. I'm trying to find my wife. I've done nothing wrong. Usually I'd say that's a matter of perspective, but not in this case. Tell me where she is. I've only got one question for you, Stanley. Why did you bomb that pub? What? What's this about? You're talking about Rory's pub? You think I that did that? That was 30 years ago. You're mad. That wasn't me. Rory was a mate. I would never I understand the question. I wasn't asking whether or not you did it. Why did you bomb that pub? Where is Leonor?
Wasn't that an IRA poll? Bollocks. Rory wasn't political. With all those dissident Republicans who drank there? Everybody drank there. It was just a local. What about your father? Did Patty Whitaker drink at the local? No. No. Your father, the famous peace activist, wouldn't step foot inside it because it was Michael O'Shea's pub. And Michael is real IRA. But then you, you go and marry his daughter. I don't want to hear this. Jesus. I can't imagine the look on your father's face when you told him. Surprised it didn't kill him on the spot. No. It was the police that killed him. Then why didn't you bomb a police pub? Help me understand. There's nothing to understand. I didn't fucking do it, right? You got the wrong fella. Thank you. 
dream is over. What the hell just happened? Just a nightmare, right? It's all over now. <laughs>